Hello, hello, beauty gang, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Shalithia Trinae, and in today's video, we will be testing out which translucent setting powder works better on darker skinned women of color. Will it be the OG Sasha Buttercup, or will it be the one and only Mrs. Laura Mercier? Stay tuned to find out. think that I'm gonna like the most. If you've been rocking with me for a while, then you know that I am no stranger to Miss Sasha Buttercup, okay? But you will also know that Miss Laura Mercy Air is my go-to, okay? That's my girl. She is the real deal, holy feel. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. So I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Paris True Match. This is Coco C8, um, oil-free, and it's in cool. It has been one of my absolute favorite affordable drugstore foundations. It gives me that natural look. It's also very easy to apply. I need a mirror. I love that it is lightweight, but it's also full coverage so you never get that caked up feeling um, that like you're wearing like a lot of makeup. I have a mirror down here too, so that's what I'm gonna be looking at. I love how lightweight this foundation is. Wearing cakey foundation and makeup and stuff, you never get that feeling with this, or at least I never do. And so I absolutely love this one. This is one of my favorites, my go-to, okay? Add it to your list. So now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of concealer in the places that I crease the most. Um, this is very optional. You do not have to do this if you don't want to. Like I said, this, um, the foundation that I use doesn't give me that like caked up feeling. And so um, I don't mind putting a little bit of concealer, you know, over the spots. Um, that I missed with foundation. And I just go in with just a little bit. In the places that I crease, so like mostly my smile area, like here. I'm just gonna go and put some there. Oh, and this is a uh, LA Pro Girl Concealer in the color Toast. So another very affordable one. I think they're like $5. So yeah, I'm just gonna blend that in. All right, so now for the test that we've all been waiting for, I'm going to put Sasha Buttercup on this side and I'm going to put Laura Mercier on this side. Do not mind my nails, I know they're a mess, okay? All right. So yeah, we're going to let it set for a little bit so that you guys can see it work its magic. And we're gonna get all into the nitty gritty of things, which one works better, which one is more complimenting of my skin tone. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into that. So here we go. I have Sasha Buttercup and I have Laura Mercier. So here we go. Sasha Butter Cup on this side, Laura Mercier on this side. Let's get into it. So just a disclaimer, I got this pack of makeup sponges at Ross for $2.99. All of this, all of these sponges in here. All different shapes and sizes, 24 pieces for $2.99, y'all. Don't sleep on Ross. Do not sleep on Ross. All right, so two different sponges for two different uh, setting powders. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sasha Butter Cup first so that you guys can see how that works on me. It's been a minute since I used this, y'all. Like, a hot minute since I used <laughs> Sasha Buttercup. It's been sitting in my bathroom for a very long time, so yeah. Off rip, you can tell that Sasha Buttercup is a lot lighter than my complexion. Um, but like I said, because it's a translucent powder, you shouldn't really you know, be able to tell the difference afterwards. 
so i'm sure like once it sets and all that stuff it's gonna be just fine and i'm gonna put it where a crease set too around my nose and my mouth area like where i crease set the most i'm gonna put it there too So we're gonna let that bake and I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Laura Mercier, you guys. I know I look crazy, okay? I know. So one thing that I do really like about Laura Mercier's setting powder is that it's a lot more melanated um, and, you know, dark skin, women of color friendly, um, which makes it, you know, a lot more intriguing for us darker skinned women we're like oh yeah let's get that one right there you know because it it looks more appealing to our skin tone to our color but um one thing that i have found to be pretty annoying with laura mercier is that sometimes the powder the uh, setting powder can blend in with your foundation which isn't always a good thing right because then it kind of gives you like that powdery foundation look and then you may wind up looking like a ghost you know uh so i do like that with sasha buttercup you can distinguish the difference um in the setting powder and your foundation but with laura mercier i really like that you know it's very uh, skin tone friendly so yeah i'm just gonna apply it same places right over you know my crease area where i crease at the most like your smile lines your nose and underneath my eyes and then i'm gonna also do my forehead on that side it doesn't look like it's a, like um it doesn't look like i put a lot on but i did it's just like i said it can tend to blend in with your foundation so yeah you guys may not be seeing it as much as I'm seeing it, and I really hope that you are, but um, it's a lot on here. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for a little while and then I'll be right back to dust it off. Oh, they're so good. All right, so now that that has set for a little bit, let's go ahead and dust it off and see which one works better. Okay, so I'm gonna get closer so that you guys can see. So this is the Sasha Buttercup side, and this is Laura Mercier. What do you guys think? Hmm. I am... <laughs> I'm so rocking with my girl Laura Mercier y'all I love Sasha Buttercup but I think that I like I think that both of these translucent setting powders are good for two different reasons right okay so Sasha Buttercup looks like it would be great for like the winter fall winter months when you want like a little glow um but you know you you want to keep that uh I guess like it's not gonna be as hot and moist there so you want to keep that you know like that uh, you want to keep that glow but you don't want to have that like you know dewy look um I think that Laura Mercier is really really good for everyday natural also really good for like a dewy in the spring summer months too um depending on what you you know what you were going for so I do like both you know it's not you know uh Sasha Buttercup isn't bad it's just it's a little bit lighter um to the point where you can tell that i'm wearing some type of like powder uh whereas with the laura mercier right you can't even tell that i'm wearing powder wearing powder it looks more so like a really good foundation um i could honestly just walk out the house just like this 
um, with Laura Mercier, no contouring, no extra highlight or anything like that. Um, it looks very, very natural. Whereas Sasha Buttercup, there's a little, a little layer of lightness there. That's not an undertone. It's kind of very, very well over. Um, and yeah, I just don't really, I don't really like that as much. I, I want to stay for like the natural look, but I am going to go ahead and finish this face off. I'm going to go ahead and add a contour and I'm going to add a little highlight and then we're going to see which one, you know, looks better. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll decide all together at the end of the video. For the contour that I'm using today, I'm going to be using my favorite Fenty Match Stick in the color Espresso. I use this a lot on my face, you guys. So you guys have seen this before. Um, as always, you guys know, I always like to link my products down below in the description box. So I will be doing that. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of this on, blend it in, and then we're going to do a little highlight and then we're going to see what it's going to look like at the end. Right, guys so i am completely done with my face i've added my highlight i've added my contour one thing that i did notice while i was putting my highlight on i noticed that i could see my highlight a lot better on the laura mercier side because it's a lot more fair skin toned um a lot more smoother a lot more melanated it's just you know it looks a lot more natural whereas this one um it kind of just kind of it kind of just blended because you know it's already light on this side of my face and so yeah overall though i love both of these setting powders they're good for two different reasons like i said before i went and got a closer look in the mirror i'm liking it if you can't really tell that i've used two different um setting powders it's not much of a difference not really dramatic not anything um that i would you know ding it for and say that i don't want to use either one of them anymore again um totally nothing like that i absolutely love both of them but i will leave it in you guys's hands so i'm gonna get uh, a little close and personal so that you guys can see it up close see what it looks like I want you guys to comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite and why. Let me know which one do you like. Let me know which one that you use. Let me know. Let me know down below in the comment section. Let's chit chat. So as always, you guys can find all the products down below in the description box. As always, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what you think. And make sure that you guys are subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss out on my posts next time. But until then, as always, be yourself, be you, be beautiful, and be untamed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.